Hello folks, welcome back to uh, Irish Scottish Fishing and Fly Time. So continuing on from my uh, cormorants that are in my box that I know that catch fish. This is my UV straggle cormorant. Great pattern. I fish this, uh, fish this back quick or you can twiddle it back and it's a great pattern. So sometimes uh, sometimes the trout just want a bit of UV and I like putting this on. When you hear about when you hear that the you're on the water and you hear that while well, they're taking UV, I like putting this one on and it seems to do me the business. So just to get into it, as usual I'm tying on a B175 Camerson size 10. So I'm using Red Fred this time, Uni Fred and Nato. All you want to do is just start your thread, bring it down the hook, stop there. Cut that off, and you want to get red holographic and medium. And you want to catch this into the top of the hook. So what I do is just bend this on the top of the hook. I like my other patterns, just loosen my bobbin a bit. I like my other patterns, just work it down the top of the hook, all the way down, be careful not to catch it, catch, stop it about there, I come up a bit here now, so all I'm going to do now is form a bit of a red tag at the bottom of the hook, so a bit of a, I like to put three, three turns in being careful, as I say I'm not going to tie onto this but it just, I like the, the tag at the bottom of this pattern, all you're going to do is just catch that in now, Two turns over the top. And all I do is I just wind it back up the hook. Just to catch it in a bit more. Come in with your scissors. Just cut it. And then all you want to do now is just work your work your thread back down the body. Now you don't need to worry about touching turns with this fly. Because the red holographic coming through. It's great. Now you want to put in some UV straggle and standard. Now you can tie this in fine, but I like it in the standard version because it's a bit longer. Uh, even if you have this stuff and you think it's a bit long, you can you, you can come in and snip it, snip it in a bit tighter. So all you want to do is just get this caught in. Work your thread up the hook, and all you want to do is just start touching turns. I like moving my uh, bobbin out of the way when I'm doing this. Nice turn to start with, and like Fritz, every time you put a turn in, just work the fibers back. As you see, this has got black and UV running through it, so it's a great pattern. And when it's a sunny day or a bit overcast and the sun's sparkling free, you can't it does glisten in the water, especially with a. Uh, Red holographic on the tail, so just gradually work your way up this fly. Touch and turns. Bearing in mind that you're you're going to be tying in a wing, so what I generally do, I've got a wee tip for this one, is bring your bobbin back up. You go two turns over, like that, and then all I do then is I grab. Grab the excess and pull back. That creates that gives you a nice little clear head portion just to wind in. And then I come in with my trusty Stanley. Just being careful with your Stanley because a couple of days ago I did cut cut myself with the Stanley. If you're wondering what that is. Light your fingers and just work the uh, work the frets back. Just out of the way. Don't worry too much about it because as soon as you put your wing in, it's going to be fine. So as like all my cormorants, I'm going to be coming in with a black marabou. Now I like to use two inches of marabou from anywhere, in, well, about this anywhere in the stock. But some people do say that you should only tie cormorants in on the, with the wing. So that's why a lot of people keep their wing, keep the tips of their wings. So like, that's a, as I say, that's your wing if you're using the tips. But for me, I just put an inch, an inch of marabou. All I'm doing is I'm pulling an inch off. Then I'm working it in my fingers like this. 
twisting it. All this is doing is just getting rid of any excess fibres and it'll give you a good wing. Just twisting it. It's just gradually building it up. And then you want to stop there and you want to get rid of all this mess. So I come in and do two cuts. I do one cut, gets rid of all that. And all you want to do now is you just want to start pulling all these fibres out. Right. What this does, it helps you tie the tie the marabou in better and gives you a smaller head. When you first start tying the marabou, you'll end up having like big heads. Like and don't don't worry about it. Having big heads are fine. They'll still fish. So just if you as soon as you get better at them. So come in for your second cut. And all I do now is I just lick the tip. Lick the tip. And then I bring it down to the pull them back the fibers. And I bring it down to the hook. Put in a couple of light turns to start with. Just to make sure I'm happy where the wing is. And that's good. Pull all the fibres back. And then, because it's a good red head, start to build your head up. Take your time on this, like. The more time you spend, better the colour of the head. Nice even layer on the body. There we go. Like the majority of my flies I come in them for my whip turn whip finish. So I'm gonna do a four turn whip finish. I'm gonna do that twice. Pulling the fibers back. One, two, three, four. And give it a courtesy pull. And then come in again. Do one, two, three, four. Pulling it tight. Coming with your Stanley, making sure you don't cut your finger. Cut it off. Then it's the wing. I shouldn't have wet my hands there, but if you come in, pinch the wing, never cut your marabou. And all you just want to do is pinch it, hold it nice and tight. Pull. And there you go. There's your wing. And then if you lick your fingers, rub your hand back. That's how it's going to fish in the water. And you say, with this, with this body, it pulsates as well. As it's fishing, it moves. So, great pattern. Now to finish off my head. I'm going to come in with uh, Vineyard's Fine Head Cement. Just a little dollop. I put two coats on. So I'll put my first coat on. Just on here. Take your time with it, as I always say. Take your time. Being careful not to touch your marabou. I have put a little bit much on it, so all I'm going to do is wipe my finger off it. Take the excess off. And then I'm going to work, work this stuff that's already on the hook around it. And there you go. That's the fly finished. I'll put that in my drying stand. And then once it's dry, completely dry, I'll put another coat of that stuff in. Always make sure you put your lid back on your varnish. You don't want air bubbles. Now this is a great pattern. I have this in my box. This is a size 10 variant. I also tie it in size 12. Also works very well, especially when they're, they might not be touching this, so it's always worthwhile going down a size. And I've also got it in the box in the size 12 booby and the size 10 booby. If you're tying on the size 12 and you're using the standard stuff, don't do touching turns, just do loose turns up and making sure then when you put it on, if you think these fibres are a bit long, just cut them. There's nothing wrong with coming in and like cutting them short. So thanks for watching folks, this is my UV Straggle Fritz, Straggle Fritz Corman. If you like this fly please subscribe and there will be more Cormans to follow. Also on my channel when we can get back out in the water again we're going to be having fishing videos of us out on the rivers, us out in fisheries. And uh, there will be some tackle reviews coming up soon as well. So Please like and subscribe and I'll see you later and stay safe.